Hello, this is Peter from The Samplist, and today we will be checking out Sanctuary, a Rocky Mountain Sounds collection designed by Adrian Earnshaw for Omnisphere 2. A Nylon Sky version of this patch collection exists for those of you who have it, but I will be looking at the standard Omnisphere version only for this video. As is the case with almost every Rocky Mountain Sounds release, both versions include optional Unify enhanced files. Adrian Earnshaw is a versatile and talented musician, composer, and producer whose passion for electronic and ambient music has earned him a reputation as a leading talent in the industry. He has several other collections available through Rocky Mountain Sounds. As you will see in the walkthrough, he takes great inspiration from astronomy, so you may accidentally learn a thing or two about space from this collection. Both versions of the patch collection retail for $39. US dollars. They each consist of 240 individual patches and 40 multis. The entire collection is based on over 100 custom samples, which is a great addition for those of you who like to do your own sound design in Omni. Most of the samples are of organs, which include some of the final sounds from a 1969 Positive Walker and an 1877 Father Willis, with a variety of stops that include exotic ones such as the 2 and 2 thirds Nazard and 1 and 3 fifths Tierce. I am not an organ player, so that basically means nothing to me, but I do know that it changes the harmonic content of the sound in very unique ways. Adrian has also added some hymnal sounds and some sounds of his own voice to round it out. In his words, Sanctuary is more than just a collection of samples, it is a tribute to the pipe organ. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Sounds for a review copy of Sanctuary. While RMS provided us with a review copy, neither they nor Adrian had any input into the decision making process or review and have not seen this review ahead of time as usual. Now, let's get to some patches.
Next, I'm going to go over a few of the multis.
That's it for the sounds, time to check out the demo.
so this is uh, this is one of the official demos for the sound set and i went for a classic split of ambient section and battle or intense section to show the variety of sound that this library can produce the variety of situations and of course i i love my space and sci-fi so this was a great library for that totally up my alley and i think that that was pretty clear in the walkthrough there's lots of very heavenly sounds so to start out this ambient section we do have one of the more uh reverby hits the Onia Terra 3. So there's there's a few good weighty hits in this sound bank. There's also quite a few tighter uh, sounds that are more useful for, for faster sorts of drumming, uh, and quite a few of them that have some built-in arpeggiation for you, which is really helpful to have. I, I think sometimes you're just looking for that more, I don't know, synthetic sorts of drums or just more unique sounding kinds of drums. And these ones, they really fit the atmosphere of the sound set. So really nice inclusion. Thanks, Adrian, for banging on those hymnals. Really appreciate that. So the, the sounds in this section, there's a lot of textural stuff. So we've got the um, local interstellar cloud, defacolors law they're working together to provide sort of a background of a pad and a drone automation on that mod wheel to give the drone a little bit more personality towards uh, through this section, make it a little bit busier towards the end. And we, we have a base in here, the interstellar medium. It's a really it's a really pleasant sounding bass that that goes nicely in this section and again a little bit of um, movement through the mod wheel here to make it hit a little bit harder in certain areas we have the multitude of voices and this one is fun so it's a fun patch built off of adrian's voice excuse me and i it was a really cool one to build. So if I switch this. So really eerie at the low end. Once you start adding once you start adding more on the higher side really adds that little bit of intensity. So this was a good one to have to build my more ambient section up. And of course, a little something to keep a melody. only imagine for those of you with the nylon sky expansion and the version there the differences are mostly in the use of the sky verb and so i can only imagine how how wonderful some of these will sound in that expansion so into right just before you get into the battle section i did add this this flyby texture
So really nice dissonant sort of thing. Almost almost feels like a like a, a brass cluster. And I guess with the organ sound sources, that's sort of one of the instruments they can they can come close to emulating. Uh, so uh, yeah, really really nice add there. I think would probably um, I probably play around with volume automation to make it an even more intense and snappy transition. But but I I liked having that that sort of sound in here as well. Then into the battle. <laughs> The prominent thing at the beginning here is this bass line. Just a fun little bass line there. Um, yeah, this in contrast to the interstellar medium bass, this is a much punchier kind of resonant uh, bass that sticks out and can can drive things a little bit more can be a little bit more of focus so it was it was a nice bass line to kind of amp up the intensity here we also have some some drums and actually I'm just going to play kind of the little ensemble I built up here. Here we go. Yeah, it's a very, it's very nice ensemble when we put all these together in this track i opted to uh, i guess not use the pre-built arpeggiations on any of these i i made my own rhythms here but again if you're a little bit stuck on inspiration the arpeggiations included in a lot of these patches can really help so yeah that uh there's that drum sound there and this astral choir five um it's yeah the, i find the the choir sounds in here they they really lend to this sort of spaciness so how um yeah how adrian's voice kind of comes out in after the processing he's done to the patches it it almost gives it this sort of synthetic feel. Like I'm playing it almost just from a waveform bass rather than an actual voice, uh, even though it is an actual voice. And so it's this really neat sort of, uh, sort of synthy sounding, but, but also sort of real sounding thing. Um, and for me, that, that just works well in a spacey sort of setting. Um, and then added another arpeggiation here with the Palace Epideri Epidiarum. Sorry, Epidemiarum. Gosh, I told you you'd be learning a thing or two with this patch bank. So this was a this was a nice arpeggiation that that kind of kept a bit of a drive didn't have too much of its own melodic content that got in the way of the the general motif i was going for so it it was relatively versatile and um yeah just like many of the patches in this bank it has that little bit of grit in there <laughs> actually selected this instance there. Yeah. 
And of course, um, with a lot of these, it's the addition of the aftertouch that, that adds this sort of grit. So you have control over how much and when the grit shows up. Yeah, let me think. What else? So, yeah, last thing. I added this... polysynth here the Antoniadi adds adds a good um, a good sort of brightness but also that that sort of noisy resonance still still gives it a bit of punch so it felt it felt good to use in this section and then towards the end just a couple of things to ramp it up a bit more so we have um, changed the pattern on the Antodiadi. And that kind of gives room for the twinkling of stars to come back. But this time the twinkling of stars one. Uh, sorry, this is actually two. Twinkling of starlight two. Then uh, a touch of the blade comes in. Yeah, it just gives it this little bit of a, I, I don't know, like a bit of a, a downer sort of melody towards the end of this section. Um, just give it a bit of, I don't know, finality. And and I've added another of the organ patches via the Andromeda Galaxy. I mean, I kind of love the Andromeda Galaxy, so I felt like I had to use this somewhere. In the core of this sound set are all of these organ samples that Adrian has taken. And so I think it should be totally unsurprising that the organ patches sound awesome. Um, and in lots of cases, he's used the harmonia to add extra harmonic content by using the mod wheel. So you can just, just hear those those higher harmonics coming in as you push the mod wheel up, which is a really nice, um, really nice sort of movement you can add. end here we've got this galactic corona uh, texture and the multitude of voices comes back yeah it gives it a just a bit of a haunting end to go along with the the way the the melody kind of closed us out so whatever whatever sort of battle happened here was probably not a great result for the heroes um but you know you got to have that tension in there sometimes uh, otherwise otherwise when the heroes win it just isn't the same so uh, anyways that is the that's the demo here yeah, it was a lot of fun to use this. I, um, I had made a second demo uh, for Rocky Mountain Sounds that had like a total dance trance feel to it. And it was a lot of fun to make as well. But um, I think just the sounds you're getting out of 
mostly organ samples with a few hymnal wax and a few samples of Adrian's voice. It's quite, it's quite a spread considering the content. And of course, I mean, if you like the organ, this, this sound set is just such an awesome tribute to the organ. You get a lot of, of new samples to play with for yourself. Uh, if you're if you're not necessarily a huge organ person but you love spacey sci-fi things this is also another great one there's there's lots of inspiration taken as you could see from the walkthrough um and i think this this demo um was very was very smooth to kind of put everything in here and make it sound spacey without any additional processing or or help from anything else so um, so I think those are a couple of, of niches that this will really fit nicely into. Yeah, and um, more than anything, hopefully this just gave you a good idea of what this thing really sounds like and how it can be really used in context. So that, that'll be it for me for this review. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, if you like and subscribe, really appreciate any comments that, that you can leave. Happy to try our best to answer any questions you might have. And um, that'll be it for me for today. So have a, have a great one. And thanks from the Samplist. <laughs>